Did we lose Kenny? The other thing, Shaman has uh, perfect saves. Yeah, so, I mean, I have good a good will save, but I took endurance and steadfast determination just so I could get it up to 12. Actually, 12 is pretty good. Yeah, but so does everybody else have a 12. I only well, have no, I, I don't know. I, I have a 7 normally. Yeah, without this, I only have an 8. I'll tell you. I'm I'm at nine without all the buffs. Yeah, my my saves are like five, thirteen, seven. Mine is twelve, three, twelve. Mine's six, four, and eight. Six, nine, six. But I I can always have both ring voice up. Yeah, I'm at eight, eight, nine. But I get one re re roll of will save a day. And this one failed me. I rolled less. Damn. Okay, well, we can continue to debate uh, will saves while we wait for Edwin to roll his. Yeah, I thought we were just stalling. Yeah, and that's fine. Um, Eurus made the save, didn't he? Okay, yes. so Eurus, um, you climb out of the void. It's kind of like climbing out of a portable hole. There's no real uh, sides. You're just kind of clinging on and uh, jumping out. I, uh, I, 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 I'm a bit disoriented as I climb out, but I say uh, that that was that was quite something. Is is it still just like is it, as it's dead? Is it still just like a void there? Well, I'm waiting for Edwin to roll his save so we can determine what happens after Edwin rolls his save. Ah, okay. Fair. I assume Kenny's taking a massive shit. <laughs> Only a shit. I'll be right back. Like so much shit that he's spending all of his time trying to plunge the toilet. Has he considered fiber? That's why he's taking a massive shit. I just saw a hilarious video of a bunch of cops trying to put a snake into a tiny bag and rolling not one on their handle animal checks. Yeah, it's surprising how hard it is to put a snake in a bag. <laughs> no, but they're using this tiny ass bag that's like one fifth the size of the snake, so the snake just easily straightens and gets out of the bag and they keep repeating it. But even putting like a four foot snake in a pillowcase, it, they, they don't. Once they're in it, they're totally fine, but they don't want to go in it. So that's not like I wonder why anything. they just stick. As soon as you put them in, they stick their head up out of the pillowcase and start pulling themselves out. Yeah, it's a lot easier when you cut their heads off. Yeah, but I wouldn't bother putting it in a pillowcase if I was going to cut its head off. Yeah, that's harsh. It's pretty easy to transport a snake corpse. I wonder how hard you have to hit a snake to knock it out. Or if it's even possible. Because their nervous system is weird. Um, if you hit a snake uh, reasonably hard, it doesn't take much to knock it out. I don't think I've ever tried to knock a snake out. I know people who have like grabbed a snake by the tail and like slapped it on the ground and it fucks them up pretty quickly. Well, I mean, I, I've killed a snake doing it that way. The best way to kill a snake is just shovel to the neck. Square spade, just come right down across the neck. All we have here are garter snakes, so don't really. Yeah, yeah. They're not really a threat. They're actually really good to have around because they eat all kinds of pests, particularly mice and other little vermin. But when I was in North Carolina, 
we had uh, cotton mouths, so I killed a few of those. Not like not letting them take down my dog. Yeah, they're actually pretty easy to kill. Like if you step on them or trip over them, they're really aggressive. But you can walk right up to it and hit it with a shovel, and it won't even react until you hit it. The problem is, if you miss, then it bites you and you're going to the hospital. So I spent a lot of time in the swamp area around my house, in North Carolina. So I had the, you know, the, the snake resistant boots or bite resistant, whatever you want to call them, but, but specifically for snakes. So they went up to like my knees. Yeah. It was my dog that was with me that, you know, didn't have protection. They don't make boots like that for a dog. And if they did, they wouldn't be able to move in them. I was just waiting for Kenny to finish pooping. It's like, what, what's happening? Yeah, I don't know what the hell happened to Kenny. Kenny's sitting right here. Well, we've been talking to you for the last uh, five minutes and you haven't said anything. Have you? Yeah. We've been waiting for six and a half minutes for you to roll your will save for the last round. Oh. Well, that's not great. That is terrible. Okay. Uh, Edwin, you get sucked into uh, the void of the Azeloth. Um, just for context, when you kill it, I don't even remember who killed it. Oh, it was Chua who killed it with a little blob of acid. Um, it kind of implodes, and as it does, it creates this void into the far realm, and uh, Edwin just sort of walks into it as a, as a like zombified version of himself. Lovely. And then uh, and I used my ignore a will save once a day thing. Yes, you can. Then I will do that. Okay. So uh, the void only lasts for a short uh, moment, and then it collapses in on itself, and everyone can roll a fortitude save. Saves a plenty. Yes, I warned everyone when we started this game, it's going to be save or die pretty much every round. Not always brutal saves, but uh, frequently bad saves. And everyone makes it. Okay. So there is a uh, mild shockwave when the uh, portal collapses. Um, and it is kind of like a sonic thrusting sensation. But uh, doesn't appear to have any effect on you. Well, that was horrible. Um, okay. Serves you. Mental note, use a higher level Azeloth next time. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I, I thought you take this 9 would have been super nasty and it would kill at least one of you, and I didn't even really do that much damage. Like, Eurus was the closest, and he still has a third of his hit points. Also, half my health was from the Nothic, not from the, not from the Azeloth. Yeah, that's true. I do think in hindsight I should have used my fade point on the reflex and not the grapple, but we will remember that for next time. Yeah, That's right. they are known as the saver die monsters. Yeah, if you uh you if you make the first sir save, that generally negates the problem. Yeah. But damn. I'm just gonna make sure my blade is okay. Your blade is unblemished uh, from the experience. It's okay. The bad creature's gone. You're more mentally scarred than your blade is. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I will jump into that rift after it if I had lost it. I'm not even kidding. I, I was going to say that. I was like, okay, the next action was going to be uh, roll a reflex save or you get sucked in with it. Yeah, I, I would have. I would have no regrets. I'm not losing this blade. <laughs> He died. At least he's committed. Over to sleep. 
Okay, what are you guys doing from here? I'm um, gonna check it out Slayer for the loot. Well, didn't someone say they saw a beholder creature? I saw a beholder creature, but I'll, I'll tell it's, it's not the same thing. I don't know what the hell this is. Uris was referring to the goblin um, uh, town, the center square. There were beholders in there, and when this appeared, he says, does this look like the beholder I saw before, or is it something different? And I said it's something different. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I just need to highlight something. Did you say beholders, plural? Uh, yes. Guys, I think we did a lot. You know, we got a lot of loot. I mean, it's they're just goblins. That's not the point. The problem is that they're spilling out. Yeah. So we're heading towards this, uh, this town, right? And, like, it's got a lot of nasty shit in it. Well, what's the, uh, we're just gonna cut a swath? In any case, what the fuck was this thing? This was pretty scary, and I think it was trying to suck me into its realm. Okay, well, you guys can roll a uh, Dungeoneering or Knowledge of the Plains on it. It is an incredibly uh, rare and unique creature, though. Does Arcana help? Arcana does not help. Do we have this book that gives us a bonus to knowledge checks, or am I confusing my games? I don't think so. I think that's from the plane game. Okay. Okay, um, what's your plan from here? I kind of want to check out to see if it's loot's in the other cave. Okay, well then you can move into the other cave. Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't clear. I would like your... sure to check out. Oh, okay. What did that do? Wow. You're so good at the loot. You are an expert. You are a tried and true expert. I'm waiting loot. 10 minutes until my inspiration restarts, and then I'm going to go and check loot. Sounds good. Okay, Titus, how long does your enlarge last for? Uh, five minutes, so that's gone. I think it's five minutes, right? A minute per level? Yeah, it's a minute per level, that's fine. I went Before Chua said he was waiting ten rounds, I was like, okay, or ten minutes. I wasn't sure if it would last, if it was around a level or a minute a level. Yeah. yeah okay. But it is moot yeah. if you're not going forward in a minute a level. Okay, now I can make a stealth check and go exploring. Mm. Right, so there is definitely a cave here. I will search this cave for treasure. Okay. Um, in that cave, you find the Azaloth treasure, which apparently is not particularly good. Hey, it makes sense. It seems less uh, sapient than the Nothics. More just sort of move forward and devour things. Poop them okay. on the other side. Okay, so. Chua, from there, you can roll a perception check. Uh, you can hear something moving in the cave to the east. Okay. Um, I'm going to signal to Titus towards the east cave and put a claw on my lips and then fight here. I'm gonna put what on your leaves? A leaps claw. Like a shushing gesture. Yes. Oh. Claw on I don't have beak. fingers, I have claws, yeah. Oh, I see, got it. Between the weirdness of him being a dragon and the accent, I had no idea what he's talking about. Um, I'm gonna cast Lesser Anticipate again. Okay. Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm going to cast Sheet as well. I'm going to cast Vigor and Share Pain. You know, Darf, I'm sorry you don't get to be on the front line as much. Would you like to take the lead on this? I've got your back. If you're okay with me taking the lead, yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I feel a bit bad.
Okay, Darth, when you get there, you can roll a perception check. Prayer is gone, right? Yeah, prayers only last around a level. Okay. And Ace is gone. Okay. Okay, Darth, um, you move up and you don't see anything. All right, I keep moving forward. Can I make a perception if I can see that? Yep, you definitely can, if you're standing there. You can see uh, the Utiug laying in a pile of filth. He seems very well camouflaged. He kind of looks like a pile of garbage. Hmm. I'll step forward and uh, grab Tarth's shoulder and say, uh, wave my hand like a tentacle creature, uh, stink motion, point at garbage. All right. And while you're doing that... Uh... His head kind of turns out of the pile of garbage and looks at you. Damn. So initiative? Yes. I was just getting on the right layer so I could click my initiative. Oh, we waited 10 minutes, right? So I get my maneuvers back. Yep. He has a similar scam to you. Maneuvers are a lot less good now that we get two attacks. But... The temp HP is an hour, right? Yes, the temp HP is for an hour. Cool. Thank you. I am. Lex, yours lasts an hour a level, doesn't it? Yes, the false lie. Just make sure you're tracking them independently, because uh, they don't uh, they don't last the same length of time. If you end up with extra hit points, can't imagine why you would. But I'm uh, I'm realizing that Sword Sage in your games is actually much much better than Warblade, because uh, they get a lot more options for for good boosts, which affect you the whole round. So you can do it with the full attack. Fair Instead enough. Of it strikes are like one attack. It's also nice to be able to move and then still do the damage. Yeah, there are definitely advantages to not making a full attack. It's just one of the biggest one is just using a two-handed weapon. Like then you don't have to worry about most of that stuff because you're already uh, making a decent attack. In Gish, uh, um, how are they called? Uh, this arcane blade shit, a dusk blade, can be really scary because you can uh, combo it with a cleric and do harm on each attack. Oh yeah, dust blades are silly even without just all just, with just all. Yeah, when but you the get, like, problem with level. harm is you need to be eleventh level to cast it. Yeah, and, but then you get to do three attacks per round, even without special boosts, and each of them delivering harm. That's pretty, pretty scary. scary. No, because you only get one harm spell, and then the spell ends. Uh, I think the dust blade shit is that it allows you to channel it through the weapon, and if you get multiple attacks, you get to use it every attack. Uh, so you have to spend one spell per attack, which is why they get such a weirdly huge number of spells per day at each level, is because you're intended to be able to do that with, like, Shock and Grasp or whatever. Um, but if I you're see. getting your spells from another class, then it's it's harder. You still have huge burst potential, but, like, you're going to run out of resources pretty quick that way. And to have three attacks around, you'd have to be, like, 20th level, because you'd need 11 levels as a cleric and then another 10 levels as a Dustblade. That's what you're saying with Gestalt, you could, you would Oh, have, with Gestalt, uh, yeah, yeah, you could do it. Because also you don't get that ability until like 12th level as a Dustblade. But at 12th level, in a Gestalt game, everyone's going to be doing stuff like that. Yeah. It's, it's just especially hilarious because three harms is like, you know, 360 damage plus whatever else you can actually do. Yeah, the problem with harm is that it can't reduce you to uh, zero hit points. That's yes, only if you save. No, I'm pretty sure it just straight out doesn't reduce you to less than one hit point. No, if you fail your save, it can. Oh, I think okay. changing it across editions. I know in second edition it left you with D4 hit points. 
No, in, in three it can outright murder you, but you get a will save. It cannot reduce the target's hit points to less than one. If the creature successfully saves, it deals half the damage. Yeah. Really? It kills someone okay. with harm. I think That's you're thinking of harm instead harm. of slay living. I think you're thinking of Pathfinder harm. Okay. Regardless, Chewie, it's your go. All right, so I don't actually see anything at the moment. So I'm going to sneak forward. Ah, oh shit, I'm stuck in the wall. Uh, can you move me out of the wall, please? Thank you. Um, okay, so there is. Aha! I have found the creature. Um, okay, last time I got eaten by this thing. So this time I'm going to mind thrust it instead. Uh, it can make a will save. Okay, uh, will is seven. It saves. Crap. Okay. And uh, then I'm going to proceed to hide here. Okay. Um, do my stealth check there. Okay, and that will be my turn. Lex, you're up. I'll cast four strike on it. Or not. Yeah, just barely not. I attack the thing with a touch AC of 10, and I miss. And I'm done. Okay, Titus, you're up. Um, I'll move in five foot. And I'll attack. Dang, that sucks. Uh, does it have a... It's still exact. Is it 19 you said with a flat-footed, since it hasn't moved yet? Yes, it is 19 with flat-footed. Nice. Uh, that is the attack, and... Uh, move swift. Yep, that's a turn. Okay, then we're on to Edwin. of actions. Okay, then run to yours. I will move up. Wait a minute, is it even gone yet? No. I'll just, uh, well, I'll, yeah, I'll move up. Uh, and then I will swift action jump to here. Or try to. Okay. All right. And then I will attack it. So that's like a leap attack? Uh, yeah, it's a swift action to jump uh, a number of feet equal to my athletics check. I don't, oh, yeah. Me... Okay, so it's swift and then you get your normal attack. Yeah. Does it give you a bonus on it? No, it doesn't give me a bonus. Let me check if it provokes AOOs like normal. Not relevant in this case, but that is... I was going to ask you that. I thought you might jump to the other side or run through the area. Yeah, I'll, I'll check after my turn. Um, so I'll make a uh, Rabid Wolf Strike full power attack here. There's another advantage of making just one attack, is you can always power attack with your focused uh, power attack. 30 damage. Nice. Okay, then it is the Udiog's turn. Also, my AC sucks for a turn. Your AC sucks for what? 
Uh, whenever I use Rapid Wolf Strike, I get minus four AC for a turn. It's kind of like charging. Bonus. Minus four. Wow. Yes, yeah, so it's 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 like uh, you you go so all out that you leave yourself wide open. That's why it gets plus four attack. Okay, well let's plus four attack you then. Wow, still managed to miss. Oh, second one hits. Oh, I totally forgot. He also gets the bite. I thought the bite was a secondary attack, but it's actually part of his primary. Huh. So he will bite uh, Titus because he doesn't have reach with his bite. I am sorry. And then he will bitch slap uh, Eurus for six points, and you can roll your grapple check. I cannot roll grapple checks, apparently. Okay, he grabs on you. And then we are on to Darf. Does that pull me adjacent to him, or am I still here? No, because he has reach, he can just hang on to you where you are. Alright. I'll go ahead and hit him with uh, slow breath. So reflex save. Okay. Slow for two rounds. Nice. Okay. And then we're back. Then we're back. Do you have tumble? Uh, yes, I have uh, plus 13 acrobatics. Nice. Okay, Chewie, you're up. Okay, since it seems pretty damaged at this point and I'm hidden from it, I will attempt to attack it now. I love it. Okay. Uh, okay, that hits a spot for good point, I remember. So let's hope I actually kill it before it can eat me up again. 26, and I keep rolling crap. Uh, 26 is for this. Okay. So you don't kill it. Uh, well, I'm going to add my inspiration to this because I don't want to get eaten. And pro oh wow, you do kill it. I don't think he has any DR. Yeah, it drops him to zero. It doesn't kill him, but it drops him to zero. Okay. Um, that will do. I will finish something here. Okay. Not inside the wall. And then he will lash out with. His one free tentacle. I'm missing horribly and then collapse from exhaustion. Okay, he killed himself. Yeah, well, he's got an intelligence of five and you just attacked him, so. Cool. Oh. Nice. Okay, that'll be another CR5. Yeah, this creature usually just lies on top of its loot, right? Yeah, it's loot would be strewn around this uh, lair. Okay. Did we get the loot from the previous one that ate me? Um, that is a good question. I don't think we did. I don't even think we mentioned loot last time. Okay. Oh, well, that's let's... because you were fighting him, and then you were fighting the Nothic, and then you were fighting the Azeloth. 
and then you went into the next room. So uh, you had you stopped for ten minutes in there, so you had lots of time to look for loot. Okay, so then another loot there, I guess. Yeah, so it's two. Oh, those are CR sixes, not CR fives. Sorry, Joe. I don't know if you rolled sixes or fives. Odiugs are CR six. Uh, this one is. Yeah, it's eight hit dice. Odiugs are the same CR as those Nothics. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know about that. Okay. Well, the th- the thing is, the the CR mechanic depends on the monster. Like versus uh, straight melee fighters, the uh, what you would call it, uh, Udiug is fairly hard to fight. But if you stand back and shoot it with bow, it doesn't take anything to kill it. Same with the Nothic. Ah, uh, fair. The only thing that really sucks is getting close to either one of them. And both of them have amazing defenses. Yeah. Well, very cool. Did you get that treasure, Joe? So how many CR6s? Uh, two. two. Oh, I guess technically you fought another Nothic, so there would be a third one. You were rolling CR6s, not CR5s this whole time, right? Uh, I think those were fives. Oh, well, sucks to be you. Okay, where are you guys going? Maybe in the sixes. Yeah, I don't remember. I think it was five CR sixes, but I might have said six CR fives just because I'm crazy and dyslexic with those types of things. Well, uh, assuming we got that, do we just want to go south now? Mm, I guess so. I mean, we still need to find that nautic treasure also. And I'm not entirely sure where the rift is at this point. Well, that's in the main square. This is the outer market, isn't it? Yeah, this is the goblin market. It's outside of the actual settlement. Um... There is a tunnel to the east that continues on to the Goblin Square. Do another stealth check, and let's go exploring. Mm. The Nautic came from here, right? Yes. Sorry, Darth. After you. Uh, I'm going to attempt to search for its lair here. Okay. Roll a perception check. Okay, you find it. Awesome. And you can also find the other Nothic if you didn't already find it, because it's also in this tunnel. Okay, excellent. So now we have accounted all the treasure. Oh, hold up, yeah. I, think, I think we're waiting for uh, other folks. Darth. Kenny seems to be stuck in the top of the map. But he'll catch up when he's done pooping. Why is he pooping all the time? I don't know. I have no idea what he's actually doing. I just know he's not paying attention to what the party's doing, so he's clearly distracted. So, is this just the cave cut off by the map, or is that actually a cave going to another map? Uh, That is a cave. That is the tunnel that heads to the goblin uh, town. All right. And I I don't think we've gone to the south then. Chua, you can roll a perception check. No, you have not gone south. Uh, Darth, you you can throw roll a perception as well. Oh, wow. Pair of 16s. Finally real good. So, Chua, you can see the uh, Utiug uh, in the cave to the south of you. Uh, Darth misses on his perception. I think, does everyone else have... Basically, if you can see the Nothic on the south edge of the map, then you can roll a perception check. If you can't, then you can't. Nope, I can only see in the light. 
yeah, I rolled a pretty amazing uh, stealth check, so I don't think he's going to have any difficulty sneaking up on you guys. Okay, uh, I'm going to mind thrust this Utiag while yelling Utiag. Okay. So, so it can do a little save. I'm sorry, where even is Chua at this point? Uh, Chua, uh, Chua to the west. Ah. He went down the tunnel looking for the Nothic treasure. But because I had the monsters on the GM layer and I wasn't really paying attention, the Nothic actually blends in really well with the ground in here. Uh, when I realized Chua was literally standing in front of the doorway, I realized I should probably have him check for that. Roll initiative then? Uh, Chu is going to make his attack and then we'll roll initiative. Yeah, uh, so he needs to do a will save. He will okay, save. Okay, he succeeds. Uh, then now we roll initiative. I have gotten a lot of nat ones on my initiatives. A lot. I think this is the fourth one, maybe fifth. Wow, I rolled amazing on initiative. Okay, so the Nothic will move up. To there, and then he will cone the whole party, so you can roll your uh, fortitude save. I uh, assume that doesn't include me. No, you're way too far away. You get to solo the Udiog, though. Nice. And then... I think we'll go with Eurus as our weird insight. So you can roll a will save. 16. I think that might be high enough. Yeah, weird insight's only 15. Okay, you feel the Nothic probing your mind, but uh, he does not accomplish anything. I'll give him a gun! Chua, you're up. Alright. Um, uh, well... At least it's flat footed for now, so I could still attack it. It will attack me back, but could probably fly away from it. Uh, yeah, sure, fine. Let's attack it. Yeah, sure. I'm going to solo it. I mean, do I have a choice? They're busy with their nautic there. Well, you could just not attack it and fly away. That's too much to ask. Nice. Okay, I get to try and confirm, and I have an inspiration to benefit from it. Awesome. Okay, um, so I might actually do some serious damage here. Let's see. Um, do not fuck up my Aijutsu. Oh, I'm going to add half my level to this shit because I can. Once a day. Uh, two, did I roll anything? 40. Oh, 38. There we go. We're getting more serious. That's 6d6. So I'm going to use inspiration. So 2 plus 12 plus 6d6. Okay, that's less impressive than I hoped. But still damage. And then I will attempt to fly away and hide there. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make another stealth there, and I'm done. What's your AC? Uh, 26, I believe. Okay, he swings and misses. Cool. And then it is his go. So he will move up and attack you. He sees me? Yeah, well, you're minus 20 to your stealth check when you uh, attack. Okay. So he'll move up to there, and then, actually, he can squeeze all the way in there. 
So then he can claw claw bite you. And miss three times. Lex, you're up. All right, I'll do a scorching ray. I assume you used your five foot to get there? Yes. Oh, shit, if I attack, I got to cast offensively. Yep. That's good enough. And that's it for me. 